Good morning. Welcome to the NYNJPA weather forecast discussion for September 7th, 2012. Of course, it's Friday and everyone's getting ready for the weekend. Well, it looks like this weekend's going to be very interesting in terms of weather, especially for tomorrow night with the threat for strong to severe thunderstorms. So let's get to the forecast. Currently this morning, as of 8.30 a.m., we have temperatures ranging from the mid-60s over the northern tier to the lower 70s along the coast and of course our dew points are in the mid 60s to lower 70s making for a very humid day and of course with all this moisture in the atmosphere we are seeing some pockets of fog and some of that fog is reducing visibility below two miles in some locations especially around connecticut so what can we what can we expect for today? Well, let's take a look at the radar. First, you can see we have a few pockets of isolated showers here developing over central and eastern Pennsylvania. We really don't see anything significant developing right now. For the most part for this morning, expect dry conditions. But this afternoon could be a bit different as a couple of these boundaries here that are showing up on the radar this morning could spark a few isolated to widely scattered showers or thunderstorms. For the most part, most locations can expect dry, muggy, humid weather conditions with highs rising into the mid to upper 80s, but it will feel like the lower to mid 90s. So let's take a look at the water vapor satellite picture because I think this really tells the tale of what exactly is happening here. This is the water vapor satellite picture as of this morning. You can see we have two frontal boundaries setting up. Well, really three. Okay, first the one over the Atlantic, which is not really much of a concern for the northern Atlantic, but will start to pick up our hurricane, Hurricane Leslie, over the uh, central Atlantic. The next cold front is becoming more stationary, starting to wash out, is currently over the eastern Great Lakes, and this frontal boundary is what will spark a few scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms for this afternoon and evening. Again, nothing widespread, but certainly you know, keep that umbrella uh, handy because you're going to need it in some locations, especially as you move further away from the ocean, like if you're in northeastern Pennsylvania, northwest New Jersey, the Hudson River Valley, locations like that. And then we have our third cold front, which is out here in the central and northern plains. And you see this disturbance right here. This disturbance is very important because this disturbance is very strong and is going to dive through the Great Lakes today and move through the eastern Great Lakes, the northern Mid-Atlantic, and New England tomorrow afternoon and evening. And that disturbance is what's going to spark the potential for widespread strong to severe thunderstorms. Now, this is going to be very key here. The location of the strongest thunderstorms will be related to where the strongest lifting from this disturbance is focused. Now, this time of year, your instability starts to fall off pretty rapidly in the evening because we're not dealing with the same type of air masses, we're not dealing with the same type of instability, and quite frankly, the sun sets much sooner. So your time period of potential instability starts to decrease much more rapidly. Taking that into account, where the strongest lifting with this upper level disturbance that is currently now diving through the northern plains is located tomorrow night will be the defining factor as to where the strongest severe thunderstorms will be located. And the stronger the severe thunderstorms, the stronger the sinking to the south and to the north of those severe thunderstorms. So when taking that into account, if this strong disturbance is focused more towards the St. Louis River Valley, the Mohawk River Valley and northern New York and New England, then the thunderstorms over the northern Atlantic will have the potential, the potential to be weaker. We're going to have to keep an eye on this event for tomorrow evening and keep an eye on the location and development of these severe thunderstorms. But for now, I do think right now that the worst of these severe thunderstorms should be focused to the north of the New York City and Philadelphia metropolitan areas. Taking a little bit more of an extended view out into the uh, northern Atlantic, well, here we have our two hurricanes. We have Leslie and we have Michael. Now, as you can see, both of these tropical systems are starting to fall under the influence of our deep trough developing over the eastern United States. And that's going to be very important because these two tropical systems, these two hurricanes, are eventually going to be entrained into this deep trough. And that's what's going to cause what we call a negative NAO pattern. 
And when you get a very strong negative NAO pattern influencing the eastern United States, you end up with a rather impressive trough over the eastern United States. So it looks like we're going to definitely head towards cooler weather conditions. Now, not necessarily cold, but we will be heading back towards near normal temperatures and much lower humidity. So we do have some good news as we head towards the second half of this upcoming weekend. So as you can see, our two tropical systems are starting to be influenced by those troughs. And quite frankly, Leslie does not look all that impressive as some dry air is finally starting to invade this hurricane. We've heard this song and dance before with dry air invading a tropical system likely is not going to be able to intensify all that much over the next couple of hours. Taking a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State EWAL website, of course we're using the European model guidance as it has been the most consistent over the past several days. Here we are for this evening. Here's Leslie starting to lift towards the north. It looks like it's going to miss the brunt of uh, Bermuda. For the most part, Bermuda is going to dodge much of the impacts of this hurricane. But as you can see, this trough is starting to dig and intensify over the Great Lakes and Northern Plains. By tomorrow evening, notice our upper level low is focused more towards the St. Lawrence River Valley. Now that doesn't preclude the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. But I'm willing to bet right now that the worst of these thunderstorms will be focused to the north of our locations and not over our locations. We have to keep an eye on this threat. What we're going to have to do is what we call now casting and keep an eye on these thunderstorms as they develop. And of course, mid-level disturbances always are a interesting wild card in these type of setups. Once this cold front moves through, well, first, ahead of this cold front, very muggy, very warm, very humid, very uncomfortable. With temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for highs and mid 60s to lower 70s for lows. Behind this cold front by Sunday, high pressure takes control much lower humidity is in place. Our temperatures only rise into the mid to upper 70s. Our dew points are going to be in the 40s and 50s. And that air mass is going to be in place with high pressure strongly in control with very comfortable weather conditions for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, leading to temperatures basically ranging from the mid 70s to lower 80s, lower 80s most likely over the Delaware River Valley. Our dew points generally in the 40s and 50s, which means our lows will range from the mid 40s to lower 50s over the interior and lower to mid 50s along the coast. Very comfortable weather conditions for return. We end up a little bit warmer towards the end of next week, mostly because our high pressure system starts to shift towards the coast and that means we start getting a southwesterly wind. But don't worry because our new trough starts to dig and another cold front is on the way with another shot of cool Canadian air. So that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. You can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe out there.